name's Olivia Kemp and I'm a fine artist working in the medium of drawing. Detail is sort of um, one of those things that people pick up on a lot in the work, but for me it's not so much the point, it's just something that's happened over time. But draw with my confidence in drawing and drawing more from observation, I felt more able to put more and more and more into the drawings. So detail kind of builds up, and what I thought was detailed in 2014 is nothing to what I'm doing now. Um, I like the idea that people have to look at the work at the same closeness that I made it. And I think detail does that because they have to come in and look at it. So they'll see my day, right, where they're sat stood, and they'll move along and they'll see a different day. But I also think detail is like a wonderful trick you can play because people mistake detail and accuracy. And if you do something imagined that's very detailed, I could literally have people say, like the drawing I did of a forest of tree houses, people say, oh, is that a real place? And you're like, <laughs> Really? I mean, none of this would work. It's really architecturally unsound. This is Bramble, and she's like my little sidekick. She always comes up to the studio and plonks down on her pillow and is like, she's a proper studio dog. Mm -hmm. <sighs> You're a good girl. This is Klaus, and he's a bit more of a reluctant studio dog. But I have to call him up from the living room. He doesn't really want to come up here. I don't really have a plan. I have a plan in terms of like one line. So this was like, oh, it's going to be sort of Spanish inspired towns on hilltops connected by bridges. <laughs> and that's it. It will be what it will be. It's fine. It doesn't matter. If you draw a lot and you draw often and you draw from observation, then you become a lot less reticent about things changing and things having to move. I started drawing in pen because I was lazy with other mediums and would just like get everything wrong and get the same with paint. You can't get a hard line and you can't define something quite as clearly or quite as easily. So then I started working in permanent mediums for that reason and working on with landscape drawing. I think just because I had never drawn a tree, so <laughs> it just became a, a, a sort of challenge. Um, and then the people just sort of started slowly to come out of the landscapes. Everything in my work has kind of just evolved slowly because I make a lot of work that takes a long time to do. The longest it's taken me to complete a piece was nine months, but I didn't have a deadline. Realistically, the longest I've consistently worked on a piece in studio is probably more like four months. I think there's a lot of challenges starting out as an artist. I think it's like knowing what the hell to do when you get out of art school because you've been in that environment where to some degree everything has been laid out for you and then you get out of art school and a lot of people then stop for a while and they're like, oh, I want to take a break. I think that's almost a bit dangerous. Some people have to and I get that, you know, because art school can be really exhausting and just, you know, you might be just out of steam. But the downside of that is it's really hard to get going again with your work and then also as a recent graduate you get a lot of opportunities that you don't get as an established artist. So it's a really good time to keep going and to start putting out applications and to put your head above the parapet. 